Africa's hotel sector has potential for further growth over the next three years, an increase in the number of foreign and domestic travelers, as well as expansion in the number of hotel chains on the continent reinforces the hotel sector's untapped potential for business growth. The hospitality industry on the African continent is set for a major shake-up as this sector experiences growth, as well as a major acquisition by larger outlets. In 2017, Nigeria experienced exponential growth in their tourism industry with a 140.2% increase in tourism in tourism's revenue when compared to 2016. According to the World Tourism Organization, amongst African travelers, countries in East Africa like Burundi and Eritrea account for the highest visitors to Nigeria, close behind, closely behind our countries from North um, Africa. I have in the studio with me Paul Omo, he's the executive director at Bonn Hotels, to speak on the uh, tourism industry and hospitality industry here in Nigeria. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio. Thank you for having me. All right, it's so good to have you here. You've, you've had um, over 15 years of experience within this sector. Tell us what, your, what has been the growth for you since you started. Okay, since I started in the hotel industry... In what have Nigeria, you seen change over time? In Nigeria, actually, my switch to the International Hotel Group was preceded by about 10 years stint in the Nigeria sector, which is um, the, the defunct Nigeria hotels. The defunct Nigeria hotel used to manage all the hotels properties for the government okay. in Nigeria made up of uh, Ikoi Hotel, Kano Central Hotel, Imo Concord Hotel, and several others. I started from there before I joined the okay. Protea Group in, tw in 2003. Okay. And my experience from when I joined till now, I think it was a trickle of growth. So what's in the difference between working within the local market and now that it's more international? Yeah, the difference is that the, like one of my friends put it, the international hotel business is in its advanced stage. Okay. Why the local hotel, hotel chains are trying to emulate what happens in the international scene? Playing catch up playing catch up mm -hmm. and it comes natural for the international groups to manage hotels but the local ones just like something you want to learn it takes time and the learning curve so the, the learning curve is still at it's lower than a 50 percent rate of wow. growth because uh, trying to run an international entity uh, a hotel that would be classified under the international best practices, mm -hmm. trying to run it and adopting informal sector of management, not, not applying good corporate governance, is the bane of mostly the local hotel. All right, but from your experience, would you suggest that we are really tapping into the potential of the hospitality sector here in Nigeria? I mean, we have travelers coming into the country every other day yes i would say we are tapping into it greatly and these international chains that are coming into this country lays credence or is an underscore for the potentials in the tourism sector of nigeria which is i will say again is at an infant stage mm. with a population of close to two million two hundred million Nigeria have the potential to be great in business and without hospitality, specifically hotels, mm. where business travelers, leisure travelers will stay, it will only beg the question in the sense that before I leave where I am for mm. business tourism or leisure tourism, mm. I need to be sure that I will be well taken care of. I will get what I need, first of all, in my stay 
okay. security wise okay. and so on and so forth. And before so, we leave, um, I want to find out. I know that there are conversation around partnerships and acquisitions. I know that on no more, and then um, there's a bit about acquiring BON hotels. So, what effect would it have when it comes to acquiring hotels and partnerships? Do, you, do we see enough of these? Yes, to grow that, the sector? The, the, Recent coming together, or what I would say, the acquisition, first of all, the entry of the Nigeria scene by Bond Hotels, is a, is a kind of, I would say that one was a kind of uh, excitement, but the, the acquisition of 61% of, uh, of Bond Hotel by Onomo is a major shakeup in the tourism industry in Nigeria. Talking a bit about the Onomo Group, Onomo Group is a very big group which has hitherto been very strong in the francophone world. Okay. And now with the acquisition of 61% in Bonn, it's set to not take the anglophone world by the storm. So, and that underscores the potentials in Africa because these two entities, Bonn and Onomo, are keen all right. on doing uh, business in, in, in Nigeria. All right, thank you so much. Because of time, that's all we can have, but thank you so much for joining us in the studio.